Hello everyone, uh, we own a truck camper and an F-350 pickup. Um, if you own a camper, this video is for you. Um, uh, many of you may know that the F-350 rear sway bar is really small. I mean, it it's kind of like half ton kind of range. I think it's a half inch to five eighths. I don't have it anymore, it's gone, but I know it's super thin. So. Um, Having a truck camper, you do experience some sway on the roadways. So we bought a Hellwig Big Wig sway bar. And um, so it's installed. Let's take a quick look at it. Okay, there it is. Uh, we followed the manufacturer's directions. It was pretty simple. Um, most anybody can install and install a sway bar. Um, the um the bar is massive it's one and five sixteenths in diameter so um pretty stout definitely should do the job so let's take a look at the front mounts okay so here we have the uh sway bar uh front end links and um we were experiencing a clunking with the truck and uh so i did tighten all the bolts up and then shortly thereafter the clunking came back so um, what I think the problem is is um, Hellwig took the the design of this bar and um, added these uh, vertical supports for the end of the sway bar and um, there's nothing to support that rubber bushing on the other side so what I believe is happening is the bar is so stiff that uh, this bolt is flexing inside of that rubber bushing. And so the result of that is you don't get an immediate response from this uh, torsion bar under a heavy load. So those rubber bushings are flexing before that bar actually becomes a part of the suspension system. In other words, you've got flex in the rubber bushing before the torsion bar starts to help you with your swaying. So it's a delayed reaction on both sides. So again, what prompted this is this clunking that we keep getting. So um, if you look at the other side, I disconnected the other link and went out for a drive and guess what? The clunking is gone. So um, it definitely is the sway bar and I believe it, the sway bar, because of its tremendous strength, is causing these end links to move around because you have no support for the back of that bolt. So the bolt is pivoting by the head of the bolt and where the nut side is, it's moving up and down before the sway bar is actually really fully engaged, you know, so you can get full benefit from the sway bar. So let's take a look at the upper link. And it is buried way up in there. It's above this. There's a like a tray support for a. Uh, I'm not sure what part that is of the truck, but uh, anyways, it's buried up in there. So it's virtually impossible to check the tightness of those bolts because you can't get to the back side of the bolt. The only way to get to it is uh, by removing the factory mount. So what Hellwig did is they took the factory mount, just added a through bolt. To the upper and lower end links and called it good they said oh it'll be fine so uh, we're experiencing some problems with this with this tremendous amount of uh, resistance from the torsion bar it's causing these bolts to flex inside of that uh, that rubber bushing so um, if any of you are having a similar problem with your uh, Hellwig big wig uh, sway bar uh, put a put a comment in there and I'd like to talk to you about it a little bit and, and what I'm going to do is I've come up with a solution um, it's going to change things a little bit but um, I really believe that it's going to make a difference here with uh, the movement and I'm, I'm hoping that we'll have a um, um, you know a quicker onset for the uh, the sway bar to engage rather than having to go through the fluctuating fluctuating of the rubber bushings before it even starts to engage. So um, we'll, we'll go to um, look at the new mounts I made. Hold on. 
Okay, I just want to take a moment and uh, look at the bolts that came off of the end links uh, where the sway bar was mounted. Um, you can see the flat spots on the bolts, which normally is an indication that there's movement and the sway bar is rubbing on the bolts. So um, there definitely was some movement in the rubber uh, at the end links, which uh, again delays the, um, the uh, engagement of that sway bar. Um, times two, both on the top and the bottom. So there's definitely some wear going on there. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, the end product. I've already installed the uh, end links for the sway bar, and uh, and you can see how we're going to resolve this movement problem. Okay, here's the new end links installed, um, and uh, uh, you can see the bottom. I'll focus in a little bit. All I did was create a wishbone off of the end link and um, you have the sway bar on one side and the other side of the wishbone supporting the other side of the bolt on the other side so there's going to be absolutely no bolt movement and you can't see it now but on the outside of the wishbone on the sway bar side i did put a plastic uh, washer in there so we don't have metal on metal on that side so we've got um you know, because there is going to be some, uh, you know, the sway bar is going to move around as it normally should. So, um, so plastic washer on the outside. Inside is the rubber bushings for the end link. And then let's go to the top here. So what I did there was um, the top of that mount, you see it's, it is actually bolted to the frame. That's the factory mount. And this was the upper link um, or upper mounting point for the... For the end link so all i did was i welded a piece of 3 16 steel to that and then i created a wishbone on the right side to support the outside of the uh the top mount so it's not gonna not gonna move uh, at all that bolt will not wear like the uh the examples are that you know that i took out of it so um so this side's pretty open there really wasn't any uh problem with uh room over on this side it was the driver's side that was was the bad bad side or at least the real tight side so i brought them both down so they'll be equal lengths let's go take a look at that okay so here we are on the driver's side which was the was the real tight side and i'll focus in on the the top mount here so you can see again you can see the factory mount for the upper link and it was above um that uh, that uh, bracket that you see there um, where you couldn't get to the bolt so now they're they're down much lower easy to get to you can see it if the bolts loosening up uh, and again they're not going to move and then we have the the lower mount so the both end links are the same length on both sides now and uh, i went for a drive today and uh, it is solid it's not making any noise at all now so it would have been great if Hellwig would have, uh, you know, put some more effort into these end links. I, I can't imagine that I'm the only guy that's having trouble with this sway bar uh, causing the bolts to pivot uh, on the single side mounts, um, which way it was originally designed. So um, if you have any comments um, about this, uh, this setup here, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, if this video is helpful in any way, please like it. Very much appreciate it. Thank you.